was to maximise assets, so, as I've just said. Mm. The reason that we're not telling you details around the rent that UBS are paying or uh, the, other, the cost of um, the tender and all the rest of it is because that information out in the public domain would benefit the competitors to SOJDC, which is your company. In the past, it didn't, it didn't cause any harm in the past. The JEP used to publish the contractors, the prices they put in, and the winning price. They used to do that years ago. It actually did a lot of harm in the past. Well, I don't think it did. When I came home in the early 80s, when the states decided to do a project, they'd go and get the capital from the states approved. And lo and behold, the tender was exactly the same price as the capital approved by the states. That wasn't right either. Can you tell us something else that the SOJDC has done since it's been set up that has been... Just give us another example of its successes. It's a fairly new company, actually. It must have done something other than just assessment. It's not in the film business, is it? Well, I, I can point to something we haven't done very well, is we built a temporary temporary car park, which has now got mature trees in it, because every time we try to get on, we're held up. But what else have they done other than this? My question is quite simple. SOJDC, whatever it's called, what has it done other than this? This is their first project. Liberation Square? Liberate. Liberation was a car park. was a car park. Yeah. Uh, yes, and um, the Weybridge no, Square? No, it was what... Um, I mean, so one, I, of the pro one of the problems is that the states has been trying to develop its, and as Alan says, maximise the value of its properties for many years. So you had the... Um, I don't even know if Webb was the first uh, embodiment of it. Um, but it's been called different names, hasn't it? Well, well, basically, they set up That's and, and so, okay, so tried to get... two names, so in its tried to get two web names, to, what other jobs has it done and been successful at, my question? Well, it's, it's, Web was trying to do all these things, and then it ran into a lot of trouble, and state members said, well, it's not fit for purpose, it's not working, it's not doing development, it's not maximising. Okay, that might make it better? No, 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 we changed the process. <laughs> we changed the whole, we changed the whole, whole process. Um, and now it's running into, people are now <laughs> upset because it is trying to be more commercial uh, and maximise the value of, of the sites. No, but the people involved in it what have got, asking, what the people the involved have got great experience. Well, well, I'm not talking I, about, I tend to you know, the this, that and the other. I want to know what past experience it's got of doing a scheme like this. <clears throat> well, the board of directors. No, the board of directors do. And that's, that's people. I'm talking about experience, mm. what projects has it done, what has it achieved before, because this is a huge, huge job to take on. You know, even Cameron's, I'm sure, will have to assist her up with something to do a job as big as this. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you, I'm sure you have the very best people at the helm, but what has the actual SOJDC, what has it done to oh, yeah. give us this confidence well, in it to do well, something? Well, it's done the first project. The decision Oh, this is its first project. The, the decision to set up SOGDC was in 2010. It wasn't until 2011 that it was actually established, so it hasn't been around for, for a huge amount of time. The individuals, therefore, you have to look at to see what experience they've got. And both the board and the individuals, one in, partic one in particular is a, experience as a local developer, uh, has uh, been involved in uh, constructing one of the first and uh, most recent uh, Grade A office developments that's now been sold. So you need to be certain that you've got the right expertise in the organisation. The corporate structure hasn't been there very long. So what you're saying is that it's quite green. No. Well, the corporate structure is, but it, it, it is just a structure. As far as its experience of running big, multi-million pound jobs, it hasn't actually done one. It hasn't actually, it hasn't actually overseen any model. This, is its, it's this, this is its first project. This is its first project. So that, to me, you know, it's got to start somewhere. Not, I mean, yeah, it's got to start somewhere. Not with my money. Yeah. But no, it's the, the individuals, individuals that are running. It's my money. You just told me it's my money. You just spent two hours on this. The assets are from Simon and yeah. The private. What experience did the other board members have of large scale development? Mm -hmm. have, well, one of them was the former chairman of one of the largest property developers in the UK. Yeah. Um, uh, he's a local then. He's a local resident. He's a local resident. He's a local He's local. He's local. He's local. He's local. He's local. He's local. He's a local resident who was a former chairman of one of the largest um, property developers in the UK, a quoting company. I think one of the problems with um, the culture. Uh, there, there are other, there, there's also.